In this lesson, we'll discuss ordinary and exact interest on loans and answering two questions. An interest rate is normally given as a rate per year. If the time period of the loan is in days, using the simple interest formula requires that the rate also be expressed as a rate per day. There are two types of interest. There's ordinary interest, which assumes 360 days per year using 12 months of 30 days. Of course, since we have 360 as opposed to 365, this yields a slightly higher amount of interest, which is sometimes referred to as the banker's rule. And there's exact interest, which assumes 365 days per year. In question number one, we are told that a loan of $500 at 7% annual interest is given. The loan was made on March 15 and due on May 15. Find the ordinary and exact interest rate and the interest paid for both. Beginning with the ordinary, notice that this is March 15 and May 15. That's a difference of two months. And if we use the ordinary interest assumption that 360 days per year, that makes 60 days. So we'll begin with ordinary, calculating that. 60 divided by 360 total days in a year. Using the simple interest formula, interest is equal to the principal, 500, times the rate, 7% interest annually. We divide this by 100% to get it as a decimal, 0 decimal 07. And we multiply that by the time. In our case, it's 60 over 360. So using our calculator, 500 times 0 0.07 times 60 over 360 gives us 5.83 or in other words, $5.83. Now, if we wanted to find the exact interest rate, there are exactly 61 days between March 15 and May 15. So we'll use the same formula, 500 times 0 0.07, that's the annual rate, and 61 over 365. If we're going to find the exact interest rate, we need to find the exact amount of days between the two dates and use 365. So again, our calculator, typing these values in, we end up with a value of 5.84. 5.84. That's an interesting number because you're probably wondering if the banker's rule yields slightly higher interest, how come the exact interest here is one set higher than the previous calculation? What banks will do with loans is that they will stipulate they're using the exact time along with the banker's rule of 360. Here's what happens if that occurs. So it's the exact same calculation as the previous, but instead of 365, we're using 360. That yields a little bit higher at 5.93. Let's move on to question two. Find the exact interest on a loan of $850 at 11% annual interest. The loan was made on January 15th and it was due on March 15th. So when you do these problems, you might have a table telling you exactly when March 15 is in 365 days. March 15 lies on the 74th day of the year, whereas January 15th is on the 15th day of the year. So if we subtract these two, we get 59. So there was 59 days that the loan was granted. With that being said, if we want to find the exact interest, we will be using the formula I is equal to 850 times 0 0.11. And the exact interest means 59 over 365. Using our calculator, 850 times 0 0.11 bracket 59 over 365 gives us a total of 15.11 dollars. $15 and there you have it. That is how to calculate the ordinary and exact interest on loans.